And welcome back guys, Gvids here. Today's video is a little bit different. I uh, just want to give a big warning out to mainly the smaller YouTubers, I would say. Um, I, Because uh, we'd be the ones that would be very uh, interested in these type of offers. So I got an email today from a lady called Stacy O'Connor, who actually wasn't today, it was yesterday, sorry. Uh, she claimed to be the manager from 704 Games Company, which is developers for the NASCAR Heat 5 series, which there is a new game coming out in a few days. So that part wasn't really outstanding. She gave me a link that brought me over to Steam um, that could basically show me the game. Uh, she was asking me to make a review slash advertisement for the game. She would send me a beta test of the game. Uh, we would need two ads. We'll pay $80 for one advertisement. And that seemed very awesome. I was very excited. I actually ran up to my girlfriend. It's like, yo, look at here. I uh, got an offer to make video game on something early. Absolutely amazing. Well, too good to be true, and that's absolutely how it was. Um, again, guys, I have 4,000 subscribers, and game developers are not going to come to someone like me and have me make a game uh, review for them so I can get 1,000 views for it. Like, that's pathetic. Anyways, I was still not thinking of that. I was very excited, so I told them I was very interested. My only problem is I cannot make video from PC, so I just explained that to her a bit, but obviously we would work around that and we could try to do something uh, so we could still make it work. Um, again, then she responded back, thank you for your response, by the way, you should download this game through PC. Is that okay? We're ready pay 150 per one if those. Now maybe her, she's on a phone or something and she's changing up her what she's typing, but she went from good English to horrible English and not only that, she also has this weird um, writing that's not from my country before the date. Uh, that was basically the main thing that I saw that was really making me get a little bit skeptical. And not only that, um, she changed her price from each one so she's really trying to intrigue me. Um, to download something which is uh, very very tricky to me and I don't like downloading something so again I just told her can I download this off of Steam yes I can do that if so um, is there any part of the game you do not want me to record I'm just trying to ask her more questions to have her talk to me more just so I could see about her English and all that kind of stuff actually you don't this is what she said actually you do don't need to do it we will give you beta test and you'll be able to record. Our programmers will optimize everything, so we'll send you game okay. Well, all right, uh, game developers will definitely not optimize my video. That's why they're paying someone to make a video or, or ad, so they don't have to do any work, such as giving it the opportunity to say, and I've seen you, YouTubers doing their early access on this game already, such as Slap Train. But anyways, it says, uh, I just said, okay, thank you. No problem, wait 24 hours, sir. I said, okay. During that time, I went to uh, the developer's website and tried to find her, and I did some research. Um, after I did flag these things, so now it is coming up as danger. Uh, before it was not there, she just said, you're welcome. Uh, here we, here you go, our game, and it's off this a mega file thing. I did click on that, but I did not actually download nothing. I just wanted to check to see. I researched the thing she was trying to get me to download, and it was absolutely nothing besides a VPN that kept coming up, which is not something I want to get into. Uh, then she asked me if I was there. I said, I'm doing a security check before I download for my protection. If there is not a key for PlayStation Store or Steam, then I will not download it until I do a security check first. As the game is on those platforms, I will make my test and review from those platforms. Thanks, I will get back to you once my security checks are complete. She said, sure. And then I went to bed, and the next morning I woke up, and it said, do not download, someone hacked me. So obviously she backtracked there and went backwards on her uh, scam thing there. But I just wanted to make sure that no one else gets tricked or anything. This is a very lucrative type of offer. And game developers definitely do do this and email YouTubers to try to get them to make reviews or ads or whatever for their games. And they will pay you for it. 
but you definitely have to be careful and when you're downloading something um, you're gonna want to download it from your main source of where you're playing it such as your PlayStation Xbox or PC which would be Steam I'm assuming so and again always do your research if someone's offering you something go and double check what they're all about double check the emails that's another big indicator too uh, I did get a response from them it was just an automated thing but anyone who works at 704 games 704 games has their own email and they will have their name in their email address so that's another major major thing there but anyways guys just be safe out there I really hope no one gets nabbed by this bitch of a girl or person whoever's doing this kind of thing but uh, just be safe out there guys and I hope no one gets nabbed by her but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video today if you did make sure you share like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one peace